some secret celebrities. Oh. Just want to touch base. Paired up with an expert. Boom! What? <laughs> and a classic car. No hand! Fair mission to scar Britain for antiques. My office. Now! The aim? To make the biggest profit at auction. But it's no easy ride. Oh. Who will find a hidden gem? Like that. Who will take the biggest oh. risk? This could end in disaster. Will anybody follow expert advice? But I love this. How would you buy something you're not going to use? There will be worthy winners and valiant losers. No, I don't want to shake hands. Put your pedal to the metal. Uh, let me get out of first gear. This is the Celebrity Antiques Road Trip. Hold on to your hats. Today's show features a couple of likely lads from Liverpool. Actors Ricky Tomlinson and Mickey Stark. We'll probably stumble on a, a Picasso or something yeah. like that, you know. Yeah, but it would probably... Uh, it'll, be, only be of... <laughs> it'll only be yeah, an old one. It'll only be an old one. Yeah, but it'll probably be a Picasso pottery jar or something well, like that. Well, one. that'll do. That'll do. That's it. In his clay period. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, chaps. The fellas have been busy mates for 40 years and became household names in the hit 80s soap Brookside. Working class hero Ricky has starred in many roles over the years, but he's renowned for his portrayal of sofa sloth Jim Royal in the royal family. Mickey is a popular and versatile actor. His long career includes appearing in hit soaps such as Coronation Street. They each have a big bag of reddies, a sum of £400. If you find an old ear anywhere, it could belong to Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe Van Gogh's ear is now worth more than his patents. So I've heard. <laughs> boom, boom. Today's experts are our gorgeously fabulous Margie Cooper and Catherine Southern. I think they're good mates, aren't they, Mickey and Ricky? Yeah, Mickey and Mickey and Ricky, it's not like two budgie regards. <laughs> I'm sure a budgie call Ricky. You had a budgie call I Ricky? I did, yeah. He used to say, who's a little beauty? He spoke, he was brilliant, was Ricky. How can you that was just a by the by. How can you have a budgie and call it Ricky? Yeah, it's called Ricky. Ricky, you didn't have another one called Mickey? No, I didn't. <laughs> budgie regards? <laughs> Our gal pals have the scrumptious 1976 Triumph Stag. I just remember Jim sort of sitting on that well, sofa, on, like, being all kind yeah. of, like, there. Yeah. And watching the... And he goes, all right, Barb, all right, Barb. <laughs> Go on, oh, Barb. Oh. <laughs> hey, Barb. Yeah, you're right, she was called Barbara, wasn't Barb, she? Barb, yeah, I'm Barb. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as far Is as that it goes. Blimey. Is there any hint of rivalry in the 1965 Daimler? Friendly or otherwise? This is a competition here now to see who can make the most money. Yeah. Because I, I'm desperate to win because in real life you've got far more money than me. Well, far more goes, money than me. From what I've heard. Goes saying. It goes, My, yeah, but mine's all in property. It's, it's buried in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking off in Nutsford, our teams will road trip through Cheshire and Merseyside before heading to the West Midlands for an auction in Starbridge. Looks like the girls are fashionably late. You don't hurry up. All the bargains will be gone, lad. Hey, it's a good job not waiting to get married. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> no, they'll be here in a minute. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Ah! Oh. oh, I love it. Arriving in style. Nice. Hello, you're just in time. <laughs> just, <laughs> just in time. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Mickey's coupling up with Margie and Ricky with Catherine. I am. Are you ready for the fray? I certainly am. Oh, oh, it's a race. Right, come on. Come on. <laughs> no time for niceties. <laughs> Here we go. The race is on. Blimey, they're eager. Right, the clock's ticking, you lot. Let's begin with Ricky and Catherine. So this is the start of our journey now, kid. It all begins now, yeah. kid. So we, <laughs> we've got to go out with all guns blazing. We've got to win. It's imperative. Really? 
it's imperative because otherwise I'll be the talk of Liverpool that was beaten by Mickey Stark. Oh, we like a bit of passion, Ricky. Where are the other two? We can. Oh, okay. um, What's going on here? I'm getting, do you have any knowledge of Roofs on Stagger account? No, but I'm willing to learn, Margie. That's the spirit, Nicky. Take forward. Ah! Give it a pull. Oh! Oh! Ah. We've done it. Nifty work, you two. We're away! Watch out, this lot are sharing their first shop. They're all heading to the town of Nutsford in Cheshire. They hold endurance races for penny-farthing bicycles here, don't you know? First to get stuck in this morning is a super-determined Ricky. Very posh. <laughs> Very posh. I'm not sure we got this much money. Nutsford Antique Centre has been trading for over 20 years and looks just the ticket for our rummaging antiqueurs. Lizzie is in charge today. Right, what do we want, Ricky? What are we looking for? Bargains. Bargain. We're looking for bargains. Lots I'm sure that lady, she's got a nice, kind face. Has she? I'm sure she'll be gentle with me. Here's hoping. <laughs> <laughs> That's all been relined, though. Mm. Oh, isn't that lovely? I love that. Six and a half thousand. What you got? 19th century French ormolu. OK, so this is all ormolu. It's gilded bronze, basically. And then you've got a painted scene on the front. So it's trying to be like a Sèvres style. 19th century Sèvres porcelain was renowned for its rich palette of colours. I don't know. What do you think about the scene on the front? Do you like it? Well, it's romantic and that puts me in the mood. Oh, oh. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Crumbs. But I think it's trying to be an early French 19th century, good, high quality, but yeah. it's actually a copy. Um, I don't think it's particularly well done. Regardless, Ricky really likes the look of it. I just like that. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, and, and it's... Uh, what, the it, colours? It just, no, just like everything about it, 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 it's just... To the untrained eye, obviously, it's to the untrained eye, isn't it? I think if you look at it from a distance, you can see it's exactly what they're doing. I think if it was the right price, I think it's all about price, isn't yeah. it? If you could get a few quid knocked off. Yeah. It's priced at £55. Time to talk to Lizzie. Now, listen, I don't know whether to go down on bended knee here. I'm looking Ooh. for the best deal best I can I get with this. I just like it. So it doesn't matter to me whether it's worth a million pound or whatever. I just, I just like it and... and what, what, what can I have it for? Well, we usually say 10%, but I'm a big fan good, of yours. Good. Um, so we'll go down to 40. I think we'll have that. Do you think? Uh, yes, I'm having that. Carl, you're well off the, you're well I, off I'm, the mark. I'm, I, you know, I love it. I don't care if I'm off the mark. I like it. He doesn't hang about, does he? Wrap that up for me, please, kid. I'm made up with that. £40 pound I've got that for. That's, that is a bit That's of a great. bargain. You're, you're good a bargain. at this. I'm in with a chance You there. can come again. Absolutely. Right, what's next? Meanwhile, look who's arrived. Well, let's hope they're not here. Now, better late than never. <laughs> Just take your time, you two. Shall we go and see what else we can find? Oh! <laughs> Hello, oh, fancy. Better late than never, but I'm afraid oh, just move out the, the two bargains on display <laughs> today have gone. <laughs> They've it. gone today. Lizzie, have nothing to do with these two, have you Liz. Already? Well, only a couple of little items. You're not saying. You're not saying. They'll catch. No. They'll, they'll raise mean? about five grand each. But um, is that all? Oh, I. Yeah. Blimey! Let's break up the scrum and stick with Mickey and Margie. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like that. Four faces of Buddha. That's right. Is that a good thing? We turn that one down. <laughs> See, I've, I've spotted that there, the little powder flask with the dog on. You know me with I dogs, love I love dogs. You love dogs, don't you? That's you get us out of you know how clumsy I am. If it's got no dents... Oh, oh crikey. Ricky, careful, that was close. <laughs> it is nice, that, oh, isn't that's it? really nice. Powder flasks were an essential accessory to firearms until the 19th century, when loaded cartridges became commonplace. 
I think that's stunning. Have a little go at that, do you? I think we've got to. What's that? Fifty-five pounds. I will buy that at fifty-five. I think it's gorgeous. See if we can get it a bit cheap. Absolutely, buy. probably best for you. Yeah. Excuse me, madam. I'm a visitor to these parts. I'm sure you can uh, knock a couple of quid off that for me, can't you? Um, fifty-five. So I'll do the same. I'll go to forty. <laughs> That was ours. Job yeah. done. Happy Long with that? Thank you very much. It's lovely, lovely Tom made up with that. Right, we're on a roll. Crikey, Ricky doesn't hang about. First shop, two antiques, bought for a total of £80. It would be rude to gloat, eh, Ricky? Anyway, so that's it. We're, uh, we're all done. How about you? You finished? Well, we're still looking, aren't we? We've got our eye on a couple of things. We, you know, still we're looking? Yeah, yeah. Only half five minutes left. Listen, don't panic us, don't panic us. Are you coming out? No, well, go no. on, you've got, you no, need the time. If you're they're up to something, they're up to something, Margie. Something. Let's, let's go and get, let's, let's... Yeah, go on. Yeah. Up, up it. Clean up. Yeah. They've got nothing. They've got nothing. 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 No hope. No hope. No life. <laughs> no nothing. <laughs> Charming. Come on, kid, let's have a look upstairs. Um, That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Persons mm. throwing stones at the telegraphs will be prosecuted. Oh, I like that. I remember those. For all those old naughty... I, I don't remember those. Oh, I remember them, yeah. So, for naughty boys? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a better look, shall we? People do buy these things. Do they really? Or mm. am, I, am I making a huge mistake? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's cast, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's cast iron. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's, you know, touched oh, it up. Or repainted it. It's yeah, been painted right, and okay. touched up. But, I mean, come on. Oh, it's probably 70 years old. Yeah. Isn't it? Now, how much is that, then? 45, yeah. 45. Yeah, yeah. that's... What, what's, what's the best price on that? Um, 10. we we'll go to 30. Mm. Well, it's very fair to knock it down that much. It is, actually, isn't it? I, I just, I've just got 25 in my head. Oh, yeah. So have I. What do you think, Liz? That'll do. Deal. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, love, very much. Oh, we're up and running. Right, come right. on. Right. That's us done. Well done, Mickey. £25 for the railway side. £30, £30. Thank you. And thanks very much indeed. Thanks. thanks. See you again. Bye-bye. OK. This is our Fabergé egg. <laughs> well, not so sure about that. But a great start, Mickey. Can I... I know we've sort of finished, but can I just have a quick... But hang on a minute. I thought they'd left. <laughs> Give you your... Uh... <laughs> yeah, don't think she likes that. Now, nah, what's this she spied? I just caught my eye. I think that lawnmower in particular, because yeah, it's really great. brightly painted. Mm -hmm. Is it not your sort of thing? Yeah, it's great. Time for a closer inspection. Meccano. Ooh. Meccano. No, I don't know how rare they are or anything. Meccano were the biggest British toy manufacturers in the 20s and 30s. This firm also produced Hornby trains and dinky toys. I just think they're a bit of fun, aren't they? Yeah. Let's take them. They're little dinky toys. I don't know how red... I don't like the wheelbarrow so much, but I love the roller. So do I. I love them all. Yeah? They're, they're great, then. What's on these? 37th for the three. Not bad. I'm sure she'd be very gentle with us. Would you do sort of 20-ish? Go up to 25. I could meet you in the middle. Go to 25. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Happy with that? Absolutely. If it goes wrong, you know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> this extra purchase means they've spent £105 in their first shop. Lizzie, you're very kind. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Really, Liz. really appreciate it. Thank you. Three items. There you go, kid. We are on a roll. These could make a million pounds at the right time in the right place. I don't think so. Oh, I'll settle for <laughs> half a million. Come on, let's go. Think Thanks, so. kid. Thank you. Cheers, bye. Let's leave Ricky and Catherine and catch up with Mickey and Margie in the stag. So it's driving very nicely, isn't oh, it? Oh, it drives like a dream. A friend of mine had one of these when we were lads and uh, he took me for a spin and I've had a slight love affair with them ever since. Oh. Yeah. What Mickey doesn't know is he's pointed the stag to an area which built its fortune on salt. Mickey and Margie have powered their way to the Cheshire village of Marston to learn a little bit of local history. Salt has always been an essential ingredient for human survival and its availability has been pivotal to civilization. 
Our pair are visiting Lion Salt Works, built in 1894. It's the only remaining open pan salt works in the UK and one of only four in the entire world. Museum and arts manager Catherine West ah. is going to tell us more. Oh, I'm Michael Stark. Nice to meet you. Hello. I, I'm Catherine. Shall we take a look and find out about salt That's in Cheshire? Right. After you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheshire is renowned for salt production, and the salt beds here are 220 million years old. Rainwater percolates through 150 feet, dissolving the rock salt as it goes, making salty water known as brine. So take us through the process. How is it produced? Well, we'd have the, um, the brine running across on top of the salt, and so actually they would pump that brine out and then it would be brought and it would be boiled, so in a massive pan, but it would be about the size of a kind of tennis court. Um, and so we'd, that would be heated right up, mm. so that then it would be boiled, then that salt would be kind of skimmed off, and we'd put it in big blocks of salt, um, then it would be dried, potentially crushed or cut, depending on what kind of salt that we were looking for. How long have they been producing salt here? Believe it or not, um, this method of salt making actually um, dates back to Roman times. Uh, so here in Cheshire, where we are today, um, there are large deposits of salt. And uh, the Romans discovered that we have these kind of natural brine pools and that by boiling, we can produce salt. Well, the Romans were even paid in salt, weren't they? Oh, you know your stuff, oh, absolutely. Yeah. The Romans understood the benefits of salt. As explorers, it was essential for preserving foods and therefore their ultimate survival. A Roman soldier's salary would be cat if he was not worth his weight in salt. Certainly, in Liverpool, salt was one of the founding industries, really, and that's why we have the salt dock uh, next to Albert Dock to make sure that we could make the most of getting that salt out across the world. So um, the Trent and Mersey Canal, Weaver Navigation, that was all a big part of making sure we had that transport to get that salt around the world. Cheshire salt was of high quality and didn't deteriorate in warmer climates. It would be shipped as far as Canada and America, West Africa and India, New Zealand and Australia. The men labouring here worked topless due to the intense heat. They'd lose up to 12 pounds in sweat a day due to the high temperature of the salt pans. It, it sounds like a lot of hard work. Just, what sort of hours would they work? What kind of dangers would they face? Well, yes, I mean, for the workers in this kind of atmosphere, uh, probably 12 hour days. I mean, if you can imagine how hot it must have been as well, and actually quite dangerous because, you know, the pans were heating up to be very hot and you were then trying to skim that off. So it was quite um, a difficult environment to work in at the time. Lion Salt Works not only produced salt for worldwide export, in its heyday, Cheshire was responsible for 86% of all salt supply in the country. However, in 1986, the factory closed, unable to compete with cheaper salt production works established elsewhere in the world. Yeah, yeah Catherine, great. thank you so thank you much. It's been us. brilliant. We'll go and have a look through the museum, yeah? <laughs> great. Back to Ricky and Catherine. How did you get to meet Mickey? I was comparing the club a, a million years ago, and Mickey came with a band. He was the front man of a band, and he was talking to me, and, and I got, I said, are you in Equity? And he went, no, and I said, well, I think you should join. And he joined Equity, and the next thing is he's acting, and he got into Brookside, and then he was in Coronation Street. We're off to the Cheshire town of Frodsham. The Beatles played one of their first gigs in this town, don't you know? This is us then, shot number two. This is us. Are you ready to rock and roll? Hampton Village and Antiques Emporium is bursting at the seams with stock. Guitar? Headphones? What do you think? <laughs> so should we go and meet the man that does the deals? Yeah. He's the best person to meet. Who's the man that does the deals? I think that might be me, right? I hope you're in a good mood today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a bargain here today. Catherine, hi. Hi, Catherine. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you very much for having hi. us here. They've got £295 to spend. Yeah, who's that? Who is it? 
I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Nozzle Durant. Yep. Is it? Jimmy Durant. Jimmy Durant. There you go. <laughs> Jimmy Durante was one of America's most popular personalities from the 1920s through to the 1970s. What a hooter. But that was long ago. I think it's horrible. It is horrible, but it's it's unique. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a collector's item, isn't it? It's not about well, it is. It's a collectible. It's but who a, wants those, though? A collector. <laughs> a collector. <laughs> Obviously. Our Catherine hasn't heard of old schnozzle Durante. Tell us more, Ricky. So who is this Jimmy? Now, Jimmy Durant was a big star uh, in vaudeville in the States and he used to play the piano. And his name was Jimmy Durant, but because he had this real big hoose that he called him schnozzle. And it's sort of, in a way, it, it's a sort of a homage to him because he was that big a star. Oh, well, then I he think we've got to get big, it. Yeah. I think we should get it. We should get it, oh, yeah. Kid. Even if we lose £47, pound, I'm sure we should get it. Oh, Dave! I don't think I'm the only one that hasn't heard... Have you heard of this, whatever his name is, Durant? He was yeah. a big star. Well, I've never heard of him. A big star? Well, you never went to You're the picture when you were a kid, Catherine. did you? You're too young. <laughs> He's too you young. <laughs> Would you mind you know, if I... This is supposed to be about antiques and she doesn't know anyone over 35. <laughs> 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 Let's get Jimmy out of his cabinet. So come on then. Right, well, it's what got £40 pound on the ticket. And it's cheap at that price, Catherine. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. The best price I can do is £20. Pounds. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well, Cheers, kid. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd love to say that I'm really happy and I love this, but... By Jiminy, Ricky's a swift buyer. £20 for the Royal Dalton Jimmy Durante mug. What's the mood in the cars, then? The problem Ricky's going to have is he, he thinks the budget, he'll think it's his money. So ah. We'll have to be very careful. Ah, so it'll be shrewd. Oh, he will be shrewd, yeah. And he's competitive. Is he now? Oh, yes, ah. yes. No, I am bothered about winning. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I thought you'd be like that. Listen, listen to this. I still, I still get emotional watching replays of the 1966 Whale Cup final. Oh. If he wins, we won't hear the last of it. Oh, my yeah. Lord. Blimey. We've got another day of this tomorrow. Time for a bit of shut-eye. Nighty-night. Wakey-wakey, rise and shine. The fellas are on the move once more. You must have been quite squashed in that car yesterday, weren't you, Miss? Yeah, it's, it's oh. the first time I've ever seen anyone getting into a car with the help of a shoehorn. Shut up. He's a cheeky devil. And the gals? Well, you should see what we've bought, Margie. Oh, was he bought... but he's just quick. Is he sort of very, very uh, quick off the mark? He's like lightning. Honestly, he yeah. bought, we bought our first item within seconds. Yeah. The second one we probably bought about two minutes later. The third one was just as we were leaving the shop. And then the fourth one, oh, Margie, is horrible. Tell it like it is, then, Catherine. Yesterday, our spirited gents rolled up their sleeves and had a thoroughly lovely time. Mickey purchased one solitary item, a railway plark, so it still has a huge £375 for the day ahead. Ricky, on the other hand, couldn't stop spending. He has the late 19th century urn, the copper powder flask, the collection of little toys, and his absolute fave, the Royal Dalton Jimmy Durante mug. £20. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Cheers. He has £275 left to splash. Cheers. Bye. You know what's happened? Yeah, they're talking. They're, to they're in the workings they're men's club. They've got their pies. How many people do they know in and around Liverpool? Well, this is the thing. We could be waiting hours. They know everyone, don't they? Oh. This could be them. They make an entrance, don't they? Here they come. Hey. Good morning. How are we? <laughs> Thank you for a bit of action. Lovely to see you oh, both. Oh, we're going to get a double hug. <laughs> oh. oh. 
<laughs> Dirty old Margie. Morning, how are you? Okay, good to see you. Good to see you. How are you, Marge? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Well. Yeah, and all the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, good luck. You'll need it. I can feel the warmth coming from, can't you? <laughs> so you put the world to rights? We certainly did. Let's nip in with Ricky and Catherine, shall we? So how was your first experience in the world of antiques yesterday? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It was a it was an eye-opener. Slight disagreement between the experts just, and the amateur, just but a slight. <laughs> I'm dying to see it put to the test. It's gonna make thousands though, that's what's gonna happen. Whilst over in the fabulous stag. So we're off to Liverpool and yep. Southport. Right. And okay. I believe the shop is on Tunnel Road? Tunnel Road. I was born about 200 yards from there. Really? Oh, yep. Do you have any connections to get cheap merchandise? I hope so. I don't think so, but I, it might be nice, wouldn't it? It would be. We're in Mickey's stomping ground, the city of Liverpool. The Tunnel Furniture Company is Mickey's next stop. Here we are. Right, Marge? Yeah. This My neck of the woods. Oh, garden stuff. Yeah, garden what? stuff. It seems to be caping all right. Wow. Yeah, this, we've got, oh, we've it's got like Aladdin's cave, this yeah, is. Have, got, have, have they got, got ants in their pants? With six rooms stuffed full, they've got a lot to look through in here. Wow. Are you a bit overfaced? Oh, no, I like this Marge Art Deco. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, what is it? Is it's like a sort of tease made, is it? What, what? Yeah, that, it's obviously made in the, in the shape of um, um, a ship, hasn't it? Okay. You've got your... Tea and sugar or yeah, whatever, tea and is sugar. it? Oh, yeah. that's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah. So how, how old would that be, then? Well, you to start being suspicious. Uh, and I think you'll find that that is, amazingly, a really good repro. Moving on. Anything else take your fancy? Oh, look. Oh, more of those railway signs. Oh, my yes. goodness. Oh, that's like all right. Them. Yeah, that's quite a good one. Yeah, Gas button nice warning. Yeah. People do collect those. Do they? Yeah. Amazingly. Is it much money? Mm. Oh, 27. That's what do you think? Yeah, do you think? Might be. Yeah, maybe. Could do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's one contender. Gosh. I've got eyes in the back of your head, haven't you? Oh, hey. Oh, here we go. Oh, what you seen them? Oh, microscopes. I yeah. like them. Do you like microscopes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what would be good? What? We could look into them and inspect Ricky and Catherine's profits. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just as I thought. Nothing. The jokes just keep on coming. So you like those? I do like them, yeah. Possibility? Hmm. A second possible, but hello, what's this? Oh, it is nice, that, yeah. yeah. Satsuma. Satsuma? Yes, yeah, Satsuma. It's, um, oh, Japanese porcelain. Ah. But that's quite nice, because inside... All oh, right, OK. You know, that's all hand-painted. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and if you look at all their faces, they're all different. Right, yeah. yeah. Satsuma ware is divided into two distinct categories. The original plain dark clay from the early 1600s or the elaborately decorated styles for the export market like this one, probably dating from the early 20th century. But there's no ticket price. Well, I think we need to speak to Paul, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him over. Paul! Oh, oh. Paul! Oh. Paul! Oh. Oh. There he is. Paul, we spotted they, a lovely little satsuma. Well, no, it's not that lovely. It's not that lovely. It's beautiful. A little satsuma dish. Like the powder dish? Yes, yeah. powder dish. Mm. Do you that for about 45 quid? Yeah, 40. Yeah, go on. I think we'll have that. 40, yeah. We've done well. That's a faster fast. That's thing. nice. Um, and the microscope. Now, do they come as a pair? Um, no, the different prices. Oh, I thought they were a pair for 74. See, a pair for 75 would be brilliant, wouldn't it, for us? We're working against Ricky Tomlinson, you know, and he... Oh, you're working against Ricky Tomlinson. You know what I mean? We need... You can have him for the 75. <laughs> oh, that is a result, Jess. <laughs> nice one. Right. This is going well. <laughs> well, have those. Now, what about that? Just throw in that gas thing. That's going to be 15 quid. 
15 quid. That. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great. fair well, enough, that's isn't it? Been great. That's £130 for the Rollway Plark, the pair of microscopes, and the Satsuma powder bowl. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. Thank Cheers, thank Paul. You. See ya. Bye, Paul. Over to the Jag and Ricky and Catherine. So, yes, you know where we're off to now, Catherine? Where are you, where are you taking me? Liverpool! Oh, Liverpool! 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 Oh, dear, Catherine. That's right, this pair are also in the city of Liverpool. This is where we do our deals, this I reckon. This is where it all happens. Yes. Penny Lane Emporium has lots of dealers selling their goodies. What will we find in here, then? Isn't that lovely? We might find some of your old stuff here. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Things like this now becoming collectible. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, you probably had one like that, did you? I did. What about this? I like this. Nah. Ah, that's a bit of class, like isn't it? I like that. Oh, isn't that elegant? I think that's lovely. Mmm, that's lo I like that. I do like that. I love that, these actually. shades. And the fact that they're just... they are. I mean, that one's obviously not got a bulb, but don't they look lovely when mm. they're lit? I do like that, actually. I think that's very elegant. 1920s, it could mm. be. I think that's really stylish. And it's priced at £150. Let's get dealer Mark over. Mark? Mark. 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 Right, Mark. You found something. We have. Not, not probably what we would normally find, but we quite like this lamp. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. It's nice. And I'm it? guessing the person's that's not right. here. That's right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Diane's not here at the moment. But, you couldn't, uh, uh, you couldn't give it a ring for us. Go down and uh, let me have a word with her. I can certainly it's give her a just, ring. Just a bit off of our price range at the moment, so. Not bad with me. I think what, what do we want to pay ideally? I think hundred pounds are our tops, and yeah. really about hundred-ish, if we can. I know it's asking to come. I could only go to one, two, five, so I'll give her a tinkle. Give her a tinkle. Okay. See what been, she says. Prepare yourself, <laughs> dealer Diane. Ricky, tell me where you kid. Now listen, we like this little, um, this little lamp stand. The, the, you know, the brass standard lamp. Now listen, you're in a good mood, Diane, and everything's going well, and we're going well, and I want to win this blinking competition. Come on, what's the lowest well, you can go, Diane? I want you to win it. Though. How about? 90? Hey! <laughs> You're on. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop the call immediately in case you change your mind. Ta da! Thanks, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> you are brilliant. Bye, well done. Thank you, Diane. I'm made up with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sound as a pound for me. Well with it. God I think you will actually. Dear. Well done, Ricky. That's a £60 discount at Liverpool. Thank you. 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 Thank so much. Back to best pals, Mickey and Margie. Pressure's on now. Pressure's on. We yeah. haven't got long now to get stuff on the table. No, we haven't, but I'm confident. Pass those two. Oh, oh, yes. But I have absolutely every faith in you, Margie. Oh, I my rely on you. goodness me. They've travelled to the seaside town of Southport, home to the oldest pleasure pier in the UK. And this fine emporium, the Antiques Man. They have £245 to spend in here. We are, look at this. Now, what's that you've got, Mickey? Yeah. A vast behind. <laughs> oh, it's got a telescope. What is it? It's a fireman's hose. <laughs> I knew that all the time. <laughs> Easy mistake, Mickey. I don't know. Quite like these. What's that? That's a, br a bamboo brush pot. A brush pot? Yeah, you know, for painting brushes. Oh, oh right. Yeah, and the Oh, carpet. I see, uh, artist painting brushes. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I do like that. Would that be expensive? Well, I don't know. We'll, have, usual, to, we'll have to wait and see. Possible. No ticket price. Moving on. That's a funny old thing next to your telescope. Oh, yeah. What is it? Ooh. Oh, it's a spade. Right. Ah, oh, right. Military okay. thing. Yeah. Some kind of cutting thing. Yeah. 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 On, the, on the soldiers would have them on their belts and... To cut a... Digging their... Well, trenches. Cutting a trench. Yeah, yeah. 
Gosh. Can dealer John tell us any more about it? Yeah, it's where they dig in trenches. Ah, it is, it what, it is military. It? Is it? It is military, yes. OK. Yeah, it's got so the arrive... all the military numbers on the side. Oh, so there, you arrive yeah. in the, okay. on the battlefield. Yes, and, and you got to dig. The first job the is to dig a trench. And it's very unusual because wow. it's got the actual leather part. Yeah. And it's never yeah. been used. Yeah. yeah, we thought. Yeah, because there's no. So what's that bit for there? That's that would come up and that would very um, for a hard, hard for a rock or stone or yes. something. Yeah. Yes. What an interesting mm. thing. It is. Mm. I like that. Yeah. How much is it to me well, with a bad cold? OK, without a cold, £50. Pounds. With a cold, £30. Pounds. Interesting pricing. <laughs> How much can this brush pot be? £90. Pounds. Oh. John. It's a lot, that, John. It's a lot. Well, I see that. I like it. I really like it. Time for Mickey to have a go at the old deal-making. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me in the eyes. Yes. I want the brush pot for seventy pounds. Now look at me in the eye. I can't. Oh, I'm not that good an actor. Brush pot for ninety pounds. Oh, you're not going to ease it. You. Two for a one -er? Two for a one -er? Yeah. Go on. Right. Go on. Two for a one. -er. Two for okay. a one. -er. Done it. So that translates into English as £65 for the bamboo brush pot and 35 for the entrenching tool. Okay. Pay the gentleman. I certainly will. Here we go. There we have. And that deal takes their tally to five lots for auction. Excellent. Yeah, hundred. Thank you so much, John. Brilliant. <coughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I've really enjoyed it. It's been an experience. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Right, bye, John. Thank you. That's our shopping done, isn't it? Yeah, great. Well, we have. On. Come on, let's go. Meanwhile, what are Ricky and Catherine up to? We bought something yesterday, doggy related. And you're a bit of a doggy fan, aren't you? I'm a big doggy fan. I love, I love dogs. My my favourite breed are, are the bull breeds. You know, bull mastiffs, bulldogs, English bull terriers. And because of this love for all things canine, Ricky and Catherine have detoured to Atherton in Greater Manchester. They've come to the Guide Dogs Training Centre to hear how 86 years ago, four dogs would set in motion the beginning of groundbreaking training, ultimately bringing life-changing independence to tens of thousands of people, an incredible story of trust in man's best friend. Ricky's come to hear about the pioneering work of those who trained the first dogs for the blind. Centre manager Sue Richardson knows the story. Hello. You must be Hi, Sue. I am. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ken. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks for letting us in, Ken. You're very welcome, yeah. You can hear the dogs barking. Hi. Hello, Hi, Catherine. Catherine. Nice Lovely to, to meet you. you. Yes, come on in. The guide dog's story starts at the end of the First World War. In 1916, a German doctor trained dogs to help veterans blinded by gas attacks. But by 1931, his techniques had found their way to Britain. We had two ladies, Muriel Crook and Rosamund Bond, who'd heard of some training success across Europe with blind people with dogs, and they decided they wanted to launch something over here. The ladies were German shepherd breeders and organised the training of the first four British guide dogs, Judy, Flash, Folly and Meta, from Muriel's home in Wallasey. The four men who volunteered were taking a brave, bold step into the unknown. It was a four-week class. They went through the rigorous training and then it took quite a lot of confidence on their behalf because obviously they didn't have any eyesight at all and they were learning to work with dogs who they didn't know particularly well. Um, so it took quite a lot of courage and bravery and they were learning to do things even like run along with the dogs. So these two ladies then basically started, right, we really need to do this properly. In 1936, the first house was created um, where people were trained regularly from there. By 1956, 102 dogs had been trained when the ladies created a breeding programme. It really, again, really started off very well in England, probably in about the late 60s, early 70s. That was our proper breeding programme. And now we breed up to 1,400 puppies a year. 
Rosamund and Muriel's training programme acclimatise the dogs to busy roads and obstacles common in everyday life. This training is still used by the Guide Dogs charity today and is carried out by volunteers. Over the years, the Golden Retriever cross with the Labrador has proven to be the most successful guide dog. Would you like to meet some of the puppies? Would you like to meet oh, these little ones? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Who have we got here? So, so this, <laughs> this is, is Kerry. 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 Fourteen weeks. Old. Oh. And this is Chaz, and he's Aww. 18 weeks old. Hello. So he's a little bit older. <laughs> we just take them out and about on the bus and the train. Great. And uh, we just uh, get them used to everything. Um, and they're lovely. And they're allowed to play with toys and our own pet dogs. Yeah. Uh, they have a lovely puppyhood. You don't take old chaps in, do you, under the <laughs> <laughs> under You the can same. come if you like. <laughs> you can sit and lie down. Going to take the challenge. Yes, take but the what's challenge. it like to be guided by a dog? Ricky's joining a class. Okay. Are you right? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. OK, let's go. Off go forward. So what's happened here? <clears throat> We've set up an what we call an artificial obstacle course, which really approximates yeah. what a dog would have to deal with, with a guide owner, out on the street when it's moving past street furniture, groups of people. So... Fantastic. Yeah. It's very disorientating. I'm sure Ricky's probably finding this quite interesting, to be honest. <laughs> it's an amazing experience, kid. It's absolutely... You can't, you can't describe it, though, say, can you? No. Uh, you, 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 you tr I'm trusting, in, in, in this case, the dog and you. Right. When, when the dogs are trained, there's no you. There's just the, the dog and, mm -hmm. and the handle, isn't That's it? You right, know, the, yeah. Over 80 years ago, four courageous blind men and their loyal dogs helped to transform the lives of the blind and partially sighted. Since then, the charity has helped over 29,000 people to achieve life-changing independence. A remarkable feat illustrating the exemplary training and the wonderful bond between guide dog and his owner. With the shopping now complete, time to reunite and have a nosy at one another's bars. Prepare to be dazzled. Did you have a good time today? Marvellous, oh. wonderful time. Couldn't have gone better. Really? Yeah. Good. So you're going to reveal? I'm going to show. I'm going to show you what we bought. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Dan, Dan, Dan. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Unfortunately, no, we did have a bit of a mishap. We're missing a we're missing a oh no a shade, but that's fine because yeah. we've still got our beautiful lamp stand and look yeah. at all our objet dark. How oh, that's can nice. I just move in? Yes, you can. And have a look. What's happened here? Has he got? Is there a lid on there? No, no. because it's a world famous entertainer. Oh, it's a character jug. <sighs> and who oh, is it's it? Snottles Durante. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's wonderful. Fab. Well done. Yeah, Do you know what he picked that? I think it's horrible. Yeah. Do you like oh, it? Oh, with Jimmy Durante. Oh, yes. oh, that's, that's great, that match, isn't it? Fairy tales can come soon. <laughs> it can happen to you when <laughs> you're the object of art. Catherine doesn't yes. have a clue. We love that. Hey. And then you've got the... Uh, we don't mention that. Garnet. We move on. Let's well, have a look at your that was absolutely <laughs> mad. We think that could have come from Imperial Russia. Yeah. <laughs> See? No, you are talking to her. Yeah. <laughs> What are you talking to? All oh, right, OK, that looks think, nice, that. That's not, I think that's... that's not 32 carrots, it's just 18. <laughs> it looks more like boiled carrots. And, you know, <laughs> shall we reveal? Come on, then, let's have a look at <laughs> your, let's have a look at your stuff. We haven't really yeah, heard on. your... Come on. Right. Here we go. Reveal. Here we go. Yes. Oh. 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 Now then. Yeah. Oh. So, I love your satsuma. Yeah, I have what to show that? you something <laughs> nice about it. Yes. Go on, then. Yeah. Which, on that, both sides, you've got a painting inside. That is very That's unusual. Mm. That is very unusual. How much did you pay for that? 40 quid. Yep. 100, 100 quid, 120 mm. quid, yeah, that. You reckon? Oh, well, That's there we go. Beautiful. That I've never seen. That's a what trench cutter. It's a what? Trench cutter. A trench, a trench spade. 
spade. A trench spade. Yes. Yes. You, you must call a spade a spade. You used to have no. them in, in the American army for digging, yeah. well, really? digging themselves in. That's in, unusual. Isn't it? Yeah, I just yeah. thought it was a bit yeah. interesting. I think you've got a lovely selection it there. Is. I Thank think you. that is really interesting. Yeah. I think that is fantastic. Ooh, Fantastic. Yeah. I think that is the best thing out of the lot, although I hate really? saying that. Oh, oh. No, but it's really You're nice. a sore loser. You um, yeah. But no, it's beautiful. Well, well done, you. Yeah, right. Fantastic. Yeah. Come on then, let's right. go. Okay. We'll see you. We'll speak to you a bit later. Oh. We'll see you later at the auction. See you at the auction. Come on then. Come on, you lot. Dish the dirt. I think it's quite interesting. Yeah. You yeah. know, from the, the, the little dig in spades to the. Yeah, the microscopes, I think, yeah, I think it's quite okay. interesting. I think what is lovely is that Satsuma dish, which is it is really unusual to be painted inside like that. It's really quality. I think they've got the edge on the auction. No, I think we're... I'm quietly confident. I think mm. we can... Uh, I think we can swing this. What did you think when they saw the, the snoz? Well, she knew it was they right they away, knew, right knew. away. And it's You're pretty good. Made, it's made by a quality maker, isn't it? And yeah. stuff like that. I think that'll do really well. I think it will. Well... Come well, on, kid, let's go. Come you've on. been great. Thank Come you. On. And what do you think your mate Ricky said about this? Ricky would say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, I thought we'd go to the alien house. I have a baby. I forget all about it. Margie's speechless for once. <laughs> We're off to auction and the West Midlands, destined for the town of Starbridge. Are you looking forward to seeing Catherine again then, Rick? Yeah, I am. I was made up with her. She taught me a lot and uh, very competitive, like me. Oh, Thinks yeah, we're like on the that. sure thing. I can't wait to beat you. I'll yeah. shake your hand and yeah. commiserate with you, but, yeah, but I, I, I think we're on the winner. I, I, no, well, I think we are. Fielding's Auctioneers is the location for today's auction battle. This should be exciting. Oh, yes, yes, we're up for it. Are you up for it? Hey. Hey, what do you think, Rick? You were a good loser. <laughs> you were a good loser. <laughs> Take no notice Here we go. of it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Super confidence from Ricky, eh? Ricky and Catherine spent £215 on five lots, Ricky being an impulsive buyer. Mickey and Margie spent £255 also on five lots. Mickey proved to be a natural haggler. Nicholas Davis is the gavel basher for today. What does he think of our road trippers' offerings? At £75, then done and finished. One lot I'll be worried about selling is Royal Dalton Jimmy Durante jug. Just a bit out of fashion, really. So, it may struggle. At the moment, the military's doing quite well, so the trench cutter could be an interesting lot. A bit different, a bit unusual. Should do OK. Thank you, Nicholas. And we are also open to internet bidders. <laughs> It's your lot, it's up first. You're nervous. I am a bit nervous, yeah. Dalton character jug. Yes. <laughs> no, well, he's lovely. He's lovely just like... They could make one of you. There's confidence, it's oozing out of you. Of you. There is one of me, yeah. Is there? Yeah. Oh, we need to go. It's much bigger, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the nose is a lot... The, no the nose is a lot bigger. <laughs> Yeah, first Ricky's favourite, the Royal Dalton Jimmy Durante mug. Here's your chance to make someone happy. Where do you start me on this oh. one? Ten pounds. Ten. Ten pounds for it quickly. Come on, here to go. Ten pounds. Got to be sold. Are you coming online at ten pounds? Ten pounds there. Ten pounds. Too slow. Fifteen if you're coming back online with ten pounds in the room. Fifteen, you're coming back. A £10 maiden bid. The internet's gone quiet. It was a long bid. It was a long way away, to give it fair. It was Australia. They don't know where's the American <laughs> bidders. <laughs> Last chance. All finished and done. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a surprise. Thanks very much, Rick, for your support. <laughs> Thank you for your support. I feel really <laughs> humbled. Don't worry, Ricky. You bought from the heart, and that's what counts. <laughs> Listen, don't be worrying. Any idiot could have bought that. <laughs> don't rub it in, Mickey. Your bamboo brush pot is next. Um, bids this time will open at £35, £35 a cry, £35 a bid, £45, £40 in the room, £45 online if you're coming back. It's £40 well, it's good, in the room. Though, it's online. 45 in there. 50 in the room, 55 online and coming back. 60 in the room, 65 online, 70 ah, in the room, 65 online. 
70 pound in the room, 75, 85, 95. Back Stop. Down to Stop, be oh, sick. Oh, oh, no, it's good. And I'm selling at 110 pounds. Are we all sure? No, no, 110. Sold. Ladies' bid, paddle lot, 608. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> I think Ricky's upset. <laughs> well done, Team Mickey. A great profit. You see, <clears throat> it's not the winning, it's the taking <laughs> Come on, Ricky. Never fear, your 19th century urn is up next. £20 for it quickly. Anybody coming for this one? Nice piece at £20. Internet's thinking about it at £20. Oh, no interest in 20. Internet. 20, I've got you. Thank you. Bid at 20. 25 anywhere else. At £20 maiden bid. Come on, be quick. At £20. 25 anywhere else. Can't tempt anywhere. £25 for an extra fiver. At £20, and it's oh, going to be. Oh, maybe. oh, oh, oh no. Sure no. Information tent's quiet. Room's quiet. £20 it is. Paddle aloft. Oh, that's a bad result. <laughs> that's a bad result. <laughs> that's a bad result. <laughs> My bad result was coming out with him. <laughs> I'm sure things will pick up soon, Ricky. Ricky, five, six years, you'll forget this ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Mickey's microscopes. Oh, there they are. £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, £20, Oh, look, that looks nice. nice example. Always collectible. Can I stand me? Bits of interest, £30. £30. Pounds. £30 pounds straight in. Takes in a commission bit of that. £30. Pounds. Pounds. Five's all I ask in the room are online at £30. We are £35 oh, on the internet. £40 are out. £35 internet bid. Seems about right at £35. £40 anywhere else in the room. £40 anywhere else online. Oh, £35 no. pounds for the power This is class. good. This is our good thing. £35. Pounds. All done and finished. I liked it. I thought that would make more. So did I, Catherine. That's a real bargain for a lucky buyer. <laughs> I'm putting on my <laughs> trying to care face. Are you? <laughs> Dry your eyes, Ricky. Right, Mickey's next to go with his entrenching tool. Bids and interest, 35 oh, pounds. We've got money back. Exactly. Did you pay again? £35. Handy for the garden if you're desperate. At £35, pounds, 40 anywhere else. At £35 pounds for the military. At £35, pounds, 40 any content anyone else? At £35, pounds, and we all sure and done. With Will on commission at £35. Bids left with us. All sure and done at £35. Last chance. £35. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Another interesting buy at a snip of a price. Uh, we've only broke even. We broke even. Oh, I hate that. Ricky's Edwardian lamp is next to go. It does. Much better on the screen, £100. anyway. £100 for the standard lamp. Anybody coming in? £100. No interest in this at £100. I'm going to drop it down then. £50 for it. £50. £50. It. it was such a good no thing. No interest at £
Where are all the hands? Ten pounds for these two. Ten, thank you. Ten. I'll take fifteen off anyone else. I'm sure we make it easier. Twelve. Right. This is a disaster. Ten pounds it is. Twelve it's anyway. Won't jump in. At ten pounds it is then. Then twelve at the back. Fifteen. Oh, go on an extra three quid. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. We can I'll put go on. on. Yeah. yeah. Cook, cook yeah. It'll be hilarious. Twelve pounds at the back. Can't put over your cooker for fifteen quid. Can't tempt you. <laughs> It's £12 at the back of the room at £12 then. Are we all sure and done? Finish at £12. Right at the back. That's a loss. Wasn't a loss, was it? Oh, don't worry. Ricky's enjoying himself. Never mind, Mickey, you're still in the lead. It's not a loss, it's a disaster. It's only a small loss. It's a disaster, not a loss. Next, it's Ricky's collection of Meccano and Dinky toy garden tools. They are sweet, they are small. If you've got a window box, they could be really handy. Uh, where are you starting? <laughs> £10 for them. £10 for them. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll go on. 30, 30. Oh, go on. You love them. You'll kick yourself. One more. One Not more. for a fiver. Go One on. more. Go. 35, 40. Yes, go on. Oh, go on. You go love on. them. You'll kick yourself. 40, 40. <laughs> 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 now you're sure this time, absolutely, because you weren't sure last time. Forty pounds on the back, forty-five anywhere else, forty-five online, forty-five anywhere else in the room. Forty pounds on the back row, I'm selling them at forty pounds. Last chance, at forty pounds they're going. Sold. That was on. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. Good. Oh. good. Nice one. Finally, a profit for Ricky. I want to borrow the wheelbarrow to take oh, the profits home. Oh, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> Chin up, Ricky. Right, it's the final lot of the day. Mickey's Satsuma Powder Bowl. £45 takes all the underbidders out straight away at 45 we're in and 50 online, 55 and 60 online are you back? It's 55 in the, on the commission with us, yeah, 60 coming back online. Come on. 60 anywhere else in the room, 60 pound the internet's back, they're in the room, I'll come back to you. 65, let's do the room, 65, 70 gentlemen, 75, oh, no. 75 late, madam. 75, 80 behind, 85, 90 behind, Very 90 good. behind, 100 behind, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Oh, my God. Can't tell you to round it up. Oh, well. Definitely, that's a definite though, isn't it? Oh my God. Uh, well done, Satsuma's not doing that well. No, I know, but this is a good quality thing. This is a good example. We've got £190. We're all sure we're done at 190 finish and done. £190 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 and